Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, from Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of the Quebec Nickel Corp, David Patterson. How are you doing today, David? Uh, Rich, I'm doing great. Thanks a lot for having me on here. Always a pleasure. Very, very excited to have you on the show and very excited to speak with you again and learn more about Quebec Nickel Corp. Now, my first question is, you founded the company in 2020. What was your thinking when you founded this company in 2020, David? Uh, great question. Uh, the pandemic was raging. We were all working from home. I'm looking at the metal complex. I've been involved in mining for the last 40 years. I'm seeing all the other metals running but nickel. And having been involved in nickel companies in the past, I wanted to get back into the nickel business. Uh, I had, in my notes, I had um, written down in 08 about a nickel discovery that no one had really followed up on. And so I reached out to my friend that was the CEO of the, of the company, Beldor Mining. And I said, you know, I'd like to make a deal on your property. We made the deal. Uh, the, the reason I liked this property is because it was anomalous to everything else in the Abitibi Greenstone Belt. What did you see in 2020 that convinced you to acquire the Ducros claims? Yeah, and that, that's just... That's just it. It was what I saw was how anomalous these results were. So when you look at the Abitibi and companies that have announced their discoveries and, and their drill results uh, for nickel in the Abitibi, you're seeing somewhere between 0.1 and 0.3 nickel. Uh, but really, there's no copper, platinum, palladium, cobalt or gold to go along with the, that nickel. When we looked at the results that we, that we had in 2008, you have to remember 2008 was a really tough year. The market collapsed just after these results had come out. Um, these results showed uh, elevated copper, elevated cobalt, platinum, and palladium, as well as gold. So aside, uh, apart from just having nickel, you had five other elements. So the anomaly is you've got nickel with five other payables along with it. Now you touched on it. Why do you say that the Ducrose is an anomaly to the Abitibi Green Stone Belt? In the Abitibi, all these mines that have been in production are, are, nickel, uh, sorry, are gold or copper zinc. So you have uh, geologists that are looking for gold, geologists are looking for copper zinc. Any other discovery in the area has been made by people actually looking for gold or copper nickel or copper zinc. They haven't been looking for nickel. They've stumbled across it. And this is the, the, the first step towards what we have. So why do I say it's anomalous? So elevated nickel is one thing, but we have elevated copper, cobalt, platinum, palladium, and gold. And those things, all of payable metals, they all add to the value of a deposit. And when you look at everything else in the Abitibi that is nickel, you do not see a suite of six metals. You'll just see them reporting one metal and that'll be their, their nickel numbers. David, the current drill results look very impressive. Can you comment on them? Uh, so our whole number 29 is, so within an anomaly, hole number 29 is a super anomaly. Uh, we hit 1.4 nickel, 1.49 copper, over 11 meters, uh, elevated cobalt, and 2.67 grams of, of platinum, palladium, and gold. This wow. is four or five times the average throughout the Abitibi in nickel. And then on top of it, to have uh, copper rich, platinum, palladium rich, as well as cobalt, and all of those metals are payable. I keep stressing how we have payable metals because that just really changes the economics of a deposit. 
David, are there any others out there currently exploring for nickel in the Abitibi? Yeah, there's, there's now quite a few that are starting to see that there may be nickel in the Abitibi and they, they're now going at it as nickel people looking for nickel. And that's what we, we assembled a nickel team. And we felt we're going and looking for nickel with a nickel team, an experienced on the ground geologists, technical team, as well as people on the board of directors that have had decades of nickel experience was important. So yeah, there's others out there. They're starting to announce. I saw a press release this morning of someone that announced um, something like 200 meters of 0.1 nickel, no copper, no platinum, palladium or other metals. Pretty impressive thickness. Uh, can it ever be economic? I don't know. Now, assuming the stars align, what are the factors that will affect the economics of a potential ore body in the Abitibi? Uh, in the, the Abitibi is, is one of, probably one of the greatest places on earth to work. And one of the reasons why is infrastructure. Uh, we have a road running through the property, running east, uh, sorry, north, south through the property. We have a power line running just off the property. We have a rail spur running about five kilometers south of us. To our south and to our north, about 20 minutes are two little airports. And we have a workforce to draw from that's in the three, 400,000 range of people that work in the mining industry in the Appetite. So that all those things really reduce uh, the cost of going into production. But also for us, our deposit sits off the road by about 200 meters. Right now we have found everything within 40, 45 meters of the surface. So wow. this is one of the, can really be economic because you've got zero to low stripping ratio, a very low impact on the environment because you don't have to pull back and make a big, huge hole in the ground. And everything in, in the ore is payable. It would all go out and it would go to a, a, a mill and then go to a, a smelter and a refinery. And all of those are in Canada. So really, it would be a Canadian-made, uh, Quebec-based nickel plus PGEs, copper, cobalt company. That's very impressive. And we see from the current press release that you've added more nickel expertise to your board. Will you continue to build out your team? I, I want to continue to build a team. And of course, success allows us to approach other people that have been in the nickel business they're wary of joining a junior uh, that, you know, is they're not going to join a junior that has 0.1 nickel. They're going to join a junior that they can see has potential of building something. And with the anomalous uh, grades of our um, base metals and precious metals, the fact that we're near surface, all of these things bode well. But more importantly, our property is one, 150 square kilometers. There's a full hundred square kilometers of our property that has never been explored. I, and I mean, never explored. So we, we do not know if there's ever been a geologist walk this land in this hundred square kilometers. And in that hundred square kilometers are ultra Mafic and Mafic rocks that are the, the, well, let's say those are the home of nickel discoveries. What is the market mispricing, giving the impressive results over the last 12 months? You know, it's, it's a head scratcher. And I have to think that uh, we keep uh, bringing results to the market. We'll, see, we'll start seeing some traction here. Uh, it is not a retail market right now. I know that here we are just after Labor Day, and we're starting to see our volumes start to pick up. And with our volumes, our price is picking up. But I, I'm, I truly believe that, um, you know, if, if I was to go on TikTok and do a, a video of me dancing, we would probably get more likes, or maybe not likes, but we get more hits than if we put out great results. And meme stocks have been driving a, a lot of retail investors. Uh, we think if we continue to bring drill results, like what we're getting, continue to build our team. And we'll start seeing the market start to appreciate exactly what we have done. I agree with you 100%. We are here with David Patterson, the CEO of Quebec Nickel Corp. 
I must bring your attention to the symbols. In Canada, the symbol is QNC, QNI, sorry, in Canada. In America, QNICF. So once again, QNI in Canada, QNICF are the symbols in Canada and the United States for Quebec Nickel Corp. I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we love to identify undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed opportunities. We believe Quebec Nickel Corp is one of those opportunities. Thank you for joining us today, CEO of Quebec Nickel Corp, David Patterson. And we'd love to invite you back again in the future if you have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss. David, love to invite you back to the show. Rich, you know I'll be here. So I'm looking forward to it. And I really appreciate you spending the time with me. Thank you. Always a pleasure. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners. We bring you the news. We bring you the analysis, CEO interviews, and we bring it to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is your host, Rich from Rich TV Live with David Patterson, the CEO of Quebec Nickel Corp, saying have a nice day. We'll see you soon.